Oh, what's this? A, a new graphics replacer by SVNR? Is it, is it just, is it Christmas already? Uh, because it, it definitely feels like it, and it feels like it every time SVNR releases a new replacer from Morrowind. Uh, but anyway, that brings me to today's Mother Day, which uh, today is a Data Gruen's Half Revamped by SVNR. And uh, this is, uh, quite obviously, a, a graphics replacer, a, a replacing both the models and textures for the Data Gruen's Morrowind. Or rather, I should say, the uh, the interiors of the Data Gruen Samarawind, uh, since this is only, you know, a half revamp. Uh, so that means that this uh, currently only covers the, the interior tile set for the Data Gruens, and uh, not the exteriors. Uh, though that, you know, that's, you know, only currently, that, that might change at uh, some point in the future, but, you know, either way, either way, uh, these these uh, model and texture places for the interior tile set for the Data Gruens are just absolutely beautifully stunning looking. Uh, you know, SVNR is uh, one of the most talented uh, graphics modders in really the, uh, just the entire Morrowind modding community. Uh, he is just he is an absolute artist. Uh, his other two mods, Imperial Towns uh, revamped and Caverns revamped. Uh, both released in 2021 were just were two of my absolute favorite mods of uh, you know of 2021 and arguably just two of the absolute best looking graphics replaces uh, released in the last two decades from Morrowind and uh, you know yes I know I know they, that those two mods are not currently available for public download but uh, you know I do hope that changes because they absolutely uh, deserve more attention. But uh, anyway, anyway, just focusing on Data Gruen's uh, half revamped, uh, this is much in the same vein as Imperial Town's revamped and Cavern's revamped. An absolutely uh, superb looking replacer that just adds a lot of depth and detail to uh, the interior tile set for these, uh, for these Data Gruen's. And I do just want to emphasize that that depth and detail, because, uh, you know, if you all look here, uh, you'll notice that uh, there is actually quite a bit of depth to uh, all the surfaces in these uh, data ruins. Like, uh, notice how the light actually catches, you know, along the carvings on the wall, or along the cobblestones and in, in the columns or on the, on the floor. Like, there is, you know, actual depth here. Like, these aren't just textures just painted on on a flat surface uh, there are actual carvings and loose cobblestones here like this is a 3d environment and uh, that, that is just an, an impressive level of graphical fidelity over the vanilla game uh, this is just this is just an absolutely beautiful gorgeous and uh, stunning uh, replacer for the data you know the, the interiors of the data ruins and uh, one of only maybe two replaces that I know of from Morrowind that replace both the textures and the models for uh, the interiors of, you know, these, these data shrines. Uh, there really just aren't that many replaces that actually cover the, you know, cover the models and the textures. And really, there haven't been that many replaces, even in the texture department, uh, for the data ruins. Like, the last one I know of was... Uh, Rusted Data Gruens by Quitty Quit, uh, released back in 2018. And uh, the, the newest one before that, I think, is uh, Tidy's Architectura uh, back in 2015. So, you know, we don't exactly get replaces for Data Gruens, uh, you know, all that often. It's only something that uh, pops up every few years. And uh, just as, you know, as a note, it, it, it is worth mentioning that Rusted Data Gruens uh, by Quiddy Quit actually has a patch for SVNR's, uh, you know, Data Gruens half revamped, in case you wanted to use those two mods together. But, uh, you know, anyway, just, you know, focusing on Data Gruens half revamped here, it, it's also worth noting that this does, like uh, really all of SVNR's replaces, have support for both PBR and OpenMW normal mapping. So, you know, if you want to use MGEXE's uh, physical-based rendering or uh, normal mapping with OpenMW, you can just, you know, you can add an extra layer of graphical beauty to these, to these ruined interiors. 
And uh, one other thing to also mention is that this does come with a patch for a uh, cabin's revamp. Yeah, because there is, you know, just one or two tall set pieces in the in the Daedric uh, interior architecture set that uses a, a combination of cabin tall pieces. So, you know, if you want seamless integration with uh, Cavan's Rebound, you, you know, there is also a patch for that. Now, uh, just uh, real quick, you know, I did want to uh, just show off these uh, data room tile set pieces just in a few different, you know, lighting conditions, because uh, depending on the lighting conditions, uh, they can just look a bit different, and, uh, you, know, you know, you can get just a real appreciation for how well these uh, tile set pieces look, depending on, you know, just the dynamic interior lighting, or potentially the uh, daylight, because some of these tile set pieces are used, you know, out in the exterior world space. And so just to highlight that a bit, I've actually dug up an old project of mine just to show off what these, uh, what these tile set pieces look like in, you know, daylight conditions. Uh, this uh, this giant tower here was uh, actually part of a project I was working on for Litzmod Morrowind, uh, just way, way back in 2017. It was supposed to be on an episode uh, demonstrating how you can use interior tile set pieces to build uh, just, you know, uh, creative and dynamic structures in the exterior world space by just building this giant exterior-based dungeon for the player to run through. Uh, that episode did not go anywhere because, as it turns out, I did not have the mic on when I was recording the first episode. And after, you know, constructing the entire tower and what I, narrating what I thought was like a three hour long video and finding out that none of the narration carried through, I just sort of abandoned the project. Uh, but it does, you know, kind of work to demonstrate uh, how these uh, tile set pieces will look in, you know, under daylight conditions with this replacer. You know, if, you know, it doesn't really serve any other purpose. I mean, you can't really even play with it today because it turns out the FPS is terrible. Like, doing a giant uh, exterior-based dungeon is not a good idea with Morrowind's game engine. Like, obviously, you know, in retrospect, obviously that it was a bad idea. I mean, I know you can't tell here, but the FPS here is like 9. 9! Because there's like 2,000 objects in this one exterior cell and... Morrowind just does not handle that very well. It is such a bad idea. I mean, it would have been a fun concept, you know, running through the entire tower, just, you know, trying to get to the top of the, you know, top of the tower to kill a boss or something, but uh, unfortunately, that concept really just does not work in the in the Morrowind game engine. But uh, anyway, just getting back to the replacer here, uh, this is just a, another fantastic, beautiful, and high quality replacer by SVNR that uh, really gives the, the interior, so the Daedric Ruins on Morrowind, just an absolutely uh, just gorgeous new look. And uh, it is without question a replacer I would just highly recommend checking out. And I, I really hope that SVNR brings back Imperial Town's revamped and, you know, Cavan's revamped just, you know, sometime in the near future, because, uh, you know, just combined, these are three of the absolute best graphics replaces that have been, you know, released, really, in Morrowind's entire history. But, uh, anyway, that's just, you know, that's just our modern day, so, uh, as always, uh, I've been your host, Dark Elf Guy. Uh, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, happy modding, and I'll just, I'll uh, see you all next time.